Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Ranita. I love getting into all things makeup and beauty related and today we're getting into Ipsy's spoilers for December 2024. Got the glam bag and of course BoxyCharm. So if you're ready to see some of the you know initial spoilers that we have here then stay tuned. If you like all of this kind of content and you like makeup tutorials, reviews, perfume reviews, uh, you know shopping hauls and all that kind of stuff then do hit subscribe because I do that quite a bit on this channel. So without further ado, let's get into the very first thing that caught my eye about December. Oh my goodness. Look at the design of this gorgeous glam bag. And let me just move aside and give this, you know, all its glory here. <laughs> so this is a really, really beautiful glam bag design. Um, you know, the bow, everything that I'm seeing here, I'm really, really loving. It, it looks so pretty and probably one of my favorite glam bag designs ever. I really love what they've done with that. Just adding on that bow made the biggest difference. So it was designed by Joanna Wong and she has said that the inspiration behind this was holiday gift wrapping and decorations which makes complete sense honestly because you know yeah we're coming into gift season as well everybody's thinking about you know beautiful things to give to everybody else and of course there's a lot of metallic finishes sparkling ornaments everything you know that reminds you of Christmas essentially so I'm really excited about this so basically this bag has um satin material and a festive twist. It's inspired by classic Christmas candy incorporating a red and white striped liner. Oh, that should be fun. I can't wait to see inside. So I hope it brings a little surprise and a smile when our members unzip their bags. Oh, that's very sweet. So the pink bag with its bold red bow would pair so well with different looks and for a fun party look, I'd go with a light pink dress with ruffle sleeves. Okay, so she's basically telling you how she'd dress. Interestingly enough, I really love pairing pink with red. I think that it's a beautiful combination and I have a dress that would go perfectly with this bag. So maybe I'll actually wear that when I get my boxy charm for December and I'm unboxing it and reviewing it with you. I think that'll be a lot of fun. So let me first talk about the products that we're getting in, um, you know, Glam Bag here. They've given us a couple. So the first one that I'm seeing here is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. Um, this sounds fantastic. It says that it's in shades blushing bright and fearless. It glides on like a dream and is committed to beautiful and long lasting relationships with your cheeks. Right, so it's all thanks to Amazonian clay and mineral powder pigments. I'm actually really interested in this. Now, I really love Tarte. We've gotten a couple of Tarte things even over the past couple of months, and I really enjoyed them. So I think that this is something I have not tried from Tarte, and I really would like to, especially because it's saying that your flush will be flawless for up to 12 hours. Now, that's a really big promise. I would love to have something like this. So yeah, I'm actually really excited for the very first product that I'm seeing here. Now, the other one that they're giving us is this Elf Skin Sun Touchable Invisible Sunscreen SPF 35. It's so, so, so weird that they're giving this to us because I literally just got this and it's just crazy. Like, I actually really love this. It's a really, really good sunscreen. It's invisible and it's also got a blurring primer and it's water resistant as well. And I've been using it and I notice instantly like the difference, you know, between using the e.l.f. primer and then not using any primer at all. So this is fantastic. Even if you're wearing makeup and you're going to work like me, I kind of keep it to a minimal. I don't really wear eyeshadow when I go. It's mostly just eyeliner and stuff because of my chronic rhinitis issues now. But I really love wearing sunscreen because I think sun sunscreen is essential. So this is something that I'll be really happy to get a double off. So, you know, it's kind of like my stock is being replenished here. So this is fantastic. It's got SPF 35, like I said, and it's also a makeup gripping primer. So your foundation stays fresh all day. And yeah, that's basically what I told you. It's a really good product. So if you get this, you're lucky. Okay. Next, we have something by Catherine Malandrino Fragrances. It's called the Mystery Fragrance. I haven't heard of this, but I am here for it. I would love to get into this. I have been building up my collection of perfumes for Christmas, and I'm really, really looking forward to, you know, just getting into some new ones, buying, building up the collection. As I said, I have so much fun getting into all of this stuff. So this over here is going to be a fresh and fruity perfume and um, the notes are going to be orange, apricot, peach, and green apple. Oh, yummy. That sounds yummy. So that's the first sniff. And then it says it blooms into a botanical garden with hints of peony, violet, and deep rose. And it's also warm with a creamy blend of caramel, rich tonka musk, and cedar wood to wrap you in a cozy finish. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Like this looks like a nice 
fragrance and I'm willing to try it. I have not heard of the brand before, but you know, anytime I get a fragrance with Ipsy, I'm very, very happy about it because I don't get fragrances that often. So yeah, this one is definitely good for me. Now, the next thing is all Moringa moisturizing face cream. This is so funny because every time I think of Moringa, I, I remember this horrifying moment when we, you know, we like I have Moringa powder every day, by the way, because I start my day with a milkshake from Herbalife and um, I add some Moringa powder to that too because Moringa is really, really good for cleaning out the system, by the way. For Indians, we call it drumsticks. Uh, drum so the Moringa fun literally looks like long like you know the, the things like the beans they kind of look like long 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 drumsticks and they're very fibrous and like we chop them into tiny pieces and then we throw them into like our you know um, curries and like we call it dal so you know we, we put it into dal uh, dal is a lentil curry so basically I started doing the same thing with my protein shakes because I was like hey you know I'd love to just you know have that extra cleansing for my system um, this thing was potent. This was this was seriously potent, and I really. This is the one from Walmart, by the way. There's like a I think it's called Kuli Kuli or something. So this moringa powder, honestly, go with their measurements. Do not be adventurous like me and dump dump in like more scoops, thinking oh you know it's gonna be fine. I honestly, it was it was absolutely horrifying because I put in I think two tablespoons, and I ran to the bathroom within like I think two or three minutes of having this moringa powder it was it was so freaking potent so if you are going to be having the moringa just keep that in mind just know that it is very strong you will probably everything will come out that, that's the best way I can put it yeah so anyway uh, coming back to this the moringa moisturizing face cream I think that moringa is fantastic you know it's got anti-aging and anti-inflammatory properties so that's why I have moringa every day okay just don't overdo it so here it says it's a jasmine scented cream feather light leaves your skin velvety soft nourished and renewed packed with antioxidants yeah so moringa is really great and that's why you know I, I like having certain things from Indian food like quite often because I feel like a lot of the things are just great for your health so here it's packed with antioxidants anti-aging like I said, anti-inflammatory and your skin stays protected, soothed and supple as a result of having this. So even having stuff internally like Moringa every day is really good for you because you know it's going to maintain your body. Like I always feel like inner nutrition is far more important than outer nutrition because if you're eating stuff that's bad for your system, it's going to show up on your face, it's going to show up on your body. So what goes in eventually must come out in some form or the other. So anyway, I'm really excited about the Moringa um, moisturizing face cream. Glambag's really looking good by the way. Um, the next thing here is Perlis Beauty Sheer Glow Strawberry Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer. Oh, okay, so this is the same company um, that actually has Yensa, I think, underneath them. And as you know, I love my Yensa foundation. I'm wearing it today. Like This is the, um, the one that actually has SPF 40 skin on skin. So I absolutely love this one. Um, now this over here is a um, BB cream. So it's basically got antioxidants and tone enhancing ingredients like strawberries, blueberries, and cranberries to even out your discoloration, brighten dull skin, brighten dull skin, and nourish dryness all in one step. Plus, it's safe on sensitive skin types. Honestly, I'm really happy for anything that I get from Yensa, Perlis, any of these companies here that really, really prioritize your skin because. I think that's fantastic. I just hope that I get like a shade that works for me. I, I actually don't think I'm gonna be getting this. I know that I'm not gonna be getting this because it's really, really hard, I think, for the Ipsy creators and stuff to um, to actually give us, you know, the, the right shade. So I don't think I'm gonna get this, but I think that if you get the glam bag, you're probably gonna get something within your shade. So I'm actually very tempted to actually try it the glam bag for um, the coming month. It just, it sounds really fun to me. Um, and you know, this, these are basically the five products right now that you know they're kind of sharing with us. Alrighty, so let's get into BoxyCharm now because you know there are spoilers for this too. Now BoxyCharm has got five full-size products and if you get Beauty Boost then you have a six product coming in as well. When I was ordering this, I think it was 40 plus, 45 plus. I can't remember exactly the amount but I did order Beauty Boost as well because I liked getting that extra product in my box every month. Um, and then of course, you know, you get other products that you can choose. I think you can choose three from BoxyCharm right now. So let's just see what they're kind of, um, you know, spoiling us with right now. So the first thing is by Natasha Denona. Now, I honestly love Natasha Denona 
but I'm not really excited about this palette. This is called the Rose and Wood Eyeshadow Palette. You can see the colors here. Um, I suppose that these colors are universal. They would work for a variety of skin tones, but considering that it is Christmas, it is a festive season, I want to see beautiful tinsel-like shades. I want something magical. And I'm really looking forward to some of the indie brands that are doing releases in December because I'm just waiting for like the tinsel shades, the beautiful shifts and everything, especially Terra Moons. They have a collection coming out and I'm so, I, I'm so, so, so stoked about this. You need to like subscribe, like seriously hit the subscribe button because you know that I go into full detail when it comes to my Terra Moons and you know, my multi-chromes. I just, I can't get enough of them. Unless I'm sick, then you know, I'm not able to. But um, coming back to this, Natasha Denona's, you know, palette, it's kind of underwhelming for me. Um, I understand that, you know, it's a mini palette, which means you can travel with it and all of that's great, but I do wish that there was, you know, some kind of added oomph, something that just kind of made me go, oh my goodness, this is going to be fantastic. Um, so yeah, the colors are a little disappointing personally for me. I would have liked something a lot more festive for the season. Now the next thing over here that we have is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Mask. Um, I have not tried a ton of Amika products. We've only gotten a couple from Ipsy and they've been okay. Like I haven't really like loved them to the point where I would, you know, want to go and like purchase them on my own and everything. But they're fine. I mean, I'm fine with trying this out. So anyway, it says that you will love seeing this bright, colorful packaging in the shower, but you will also fall in love with what it does for your hair. The nourishing mask is packed with vitamins and nutrients to help condition your strands to leave them looking soft, silky, and smooth. So I guess this is cool. Like, I, I don't know. It's been a really, really long time since I actually used a mask for my hair. Mostly because I use castor oil for everything now. Um, I love castor oil. It is my baby. Um, you know, I, I do a castor oil treatment for my hair, like I think once or twice a week because I wash my hair like once or twice a week. So depending on that now, I, you know, like right before I wash or the night before I'm washing, I'll just take a little bit of castor oil on my fingertips, massage my scalp, and I feel like that makes such a big difference to my, you know, hair and scalp health. But of course, you know, the water in Florida is not that great here, so that also kind of contributes and makes it a bit messy. But, you know, basically the point is I'm not really into hair masks as much anymore, simply because I already have my own thing that I'm doing. So I'll try it. I just don't know if I'm gonna stick with it and continue it. So anyway, the third thing that we're getting here is by Ciate London. I feel like we've gotten so many things from Ciate London and I just don't feel like this is a brand that I look forward to at all. In fact, I'm pretty sure that when you go and look at Reddit and other social media threads and stuff, a lot of people actually don't like the fact that we get so much Ciate London, but hey, we're getting something again. So this is the Cherry Bomb Blush and Highlighter Palette, reminding me of the song Cherry Bomb by The Runaways. Um, that's the song, you can go and listen to it. You probably heard it in Guardians of the Galaxy. But anyway, this palette is a little underwhelming as well, because honestly, I'm looking at the shades in Ciate London, and then I'm looking at the shades in the Natasha Denona palette, and I'm like, don't these look similar? They look very similar, don't they? Like this is, practically the same shades, so I don't know. You know, the palette looks really festive, and then you open it and it's just, it. where's the red, where's the pink? It's kind of sad to me that, you know, there's no festive colors coming through here, like, you know, like red lipstick, beautiful silvery or gold eyeshadows, you know, festive, guys, we want festive. So it says Sculpt, Glaze, and Glow with this Chic Cheek palette, and it features four dreamy shades and a buttery soft buildable formula, with um, each palette including two velvety matte blush shades and a radiant gilded uh, and basically the highlighters for a glow. So yeah, I'm kind of like, mm, it, it looks pretty basic to me, I don't know. Um, I guess we're gonna have to see how that one goes and it's just the fact that we've gotten several blush palettes, uh, you know, again. So I think it would have been lovely to have given us, you know, um, a, a gloss, a lipstick, um, just something that would have been more fun than this. You know, even if Ipsy starts including like really fun earrings, which I think is something they can consider, they started including earrings and stuff. I think people would really find that fun. Um, it's just that this is, it's kind of sad. So anyway, the next one, um, yeah, I'm disappointed with the third one. Okay, now the fourth thing here is by Ali Oop. It's called the Game Face Second Skin Concealer. I have not tried Ali Oop in forever, so 
I didn't even know that they had a concealer. Um, I doubt that I'm going to be getting this, so I know that I'm not going to be getting the concealers because with Ipsy Creators, um, it's very hard to like match the shades to us, so I don't think I'm getting this. But it does say that this is a blend of skincare and flawless coverage infused with aloe stem cell extract to help soothe, hydrate, and then there's rosehip oil to lock in moisture and sea buckthorn oil for a rejuvenating vitamin boost. It delivers a natural crease proof finish. Oh, so that sounds fun. I guess this is something that you could even use maybe as a as, as a base, like on your eyes if it's got a crease proof finish. Um, but yeah, this, this looks good, sounds good. I like the ingredients, so that doesn't sound disappointing to me. It would go really well with the Glam Bag um, Elf Skin, you know, primer. Yeah, you could use those two together and see the magic that comes from that. Now, the last thing that they've told us about Boxy Chum is this one over here, Dermalectives Purifying Triple Power Collagen Moisturizer. So it says this breakthrough moisturizer does more than just fight dryness. It helps to shield your skin from environmental stress, boost collagen, and speed up cell renewal. So the result is a radiant, youthful-looking glow that stays protected and nourished all day long. Alrighty, so that's basically that for the BoxyCharm spoilers, and you've also seen the Glam Bag ones. Now, I think that between the two, um, I think that Glam Bag is definitely winning for me. The products that just look a lot more fun, uh, but you know, sometimes even when they give us spoilers, I've noticed very, very different products showing up inside my boxes and then you know I end up really liking it and it's you know just kind of a toss-up I guess you know you, you don't really know what you're gonna be getting you know I guess that's the fun in the box so anyway that's all I have for you today I will continue to update us like if there's any more spoilers that I need to be adding on here and I hope that you have a wonderful week and that you're getting ready for the festive season I mean I've gone to TJ Maxx and Marshalls today and I saw all the beautiful Christmas stuff coming in and that was really lovely so yeah, I'm looking forward to this season. I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and uh, you know, let me know your thoughts below about Ipsy and BoxyCharm. You know, are you looking forward to these products in this month? Uh, how do you think it could be improved? Um, I was actually thinking, and I'm just gonna share some thoughts before we run away, because I know I already said bye, but uh, I think that, you know, considering that Christmas is coming in, some really fun things could have been to include just very Christmassy items, you know, like maybe a scent that reminds you of Christmas, a spicy scent, uh, maybe something to do with oranges, you know, or fruit cake, marzipan, almonds, like all of that just makes the most sense to me because I remember that with the um, previous icon box that they had done with the Legends, um, they had sent us that box of cookies and that kind of makes a lot of sense for December because December is the time for all of these treats and goodies and beautiful things and it kind of makes a lot of sense to me to actually you know do something like that even in December but hey that's just my you know 10 cents on everything so anyway bye bye I'll catch you soon